So Congress is set to begin hearings on a controversial program called Operation Choke Point. Critics say that the federal program targets businesses that the Obama administration considers morally objectionable. Gun stores are among those businesses that are having a tougher time because of increased audits and scrutiny. Mike Tobin is live in Chicago with more on this. So, Mike, what is this and what's going on with it? Well, tomorrow lawmakers are going to try to get to the bottom of Operation Choke Point with a hearing in the uh, Financial Services Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigation. Uh, even after the impact of uh, Operation Choke Point went public, businesses like Global Hookah Distributors were told that they could not bank through normal channels. Banks and payment processors are told if they have accounts with gun dealers, tobacco sellers, short-term lenders, and other businesses subjectively identified as high risk, the banking institution will be subject to audits and increased scrutiny. So the owner of Global Hookah feels he's being driven out of business. I uh, started this business when I was 18 years old, funded my way through college with it, and have continued on since then growing this company into what it is today. And I feel like, why do you, why, why do you get punished when you're uh, growing a company? Now, initially, the FDIC put out a list of 30 businesses they felt were high risk. The FDIC has since rescinded that list, but the U.S. Consumer Coalition says all that did was remove the guideline and invite more uh, subjectivity, Martha. So what is this hearing about, Mike? Well, you've got a lot of people in Congress who feel that this is a blatant abuse of power. This is government bureaucrats appointing themselves morality police and identifying businesses they want to see brought down. When we pass laws and make them legal, but the FDIC, uh, through their activist bureaucrats, try to put them out of business under the cover of darkness, that's not American, and it's beyond the control and, and, and the charter given by the Congress. Now, the FDIC issued a statement saying that agency has a responsibility to see that businesses and banking institutions are, he are adhering to laws, specifically those that uh, uh, prevent uh, money laundering. But the U.S. Consumer Coalition says all this is doing is forcing a lot of businesses to go cash and inviting them to operate off the books. Yeah. Martha? That's surprising. Wow. All right, Mike, thank you very much.